Hey, this is Naja Easton, and right now I'm at Team Lord Irvin's 2013 Appreciation Celebration. Stay tuned, I'm going to be taking some interviews with some of the hottest and upcoming uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu celebrities that are out there right now, and you're going to be seeing big things from them in 2014, so stay tuned. All right, this is Robbie and Kate. I just want to say Happy New Year, and thank you to Match Lloyd for inviting us out here, having a great time, and Team Lord Irvin forever. Hey, it's Naja Easton, and I'm here with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt, uh, Ty Ryan, who's also a purple belt, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion. I'm an accomplished grappler of taking uh, gold in a lot of um, regional tournaments. I just now hit the summit and won the BJJ Worlds at purple belt, beating a lot of good guys, guys that thought they were the shit. The best guys that thought they were the shit at middleweight. I beat those guys. Um, that's about it. I got attributed to Master Lloyd Irvin. I trained with him for the three months leading up to the World Championships. Uh, we really, really worked on passing the guard, and that's how I won every single match. After that, Ty was promoted to the rank of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Brown Belt, so you're going to be seeing and hearing some big things from Ty Ryan. 2014, I'm looking to continue with the um, continue the momentum that I had at ending 2013. I'm looking to continue to dominate from the top position, and if guys are willing, if guys are willing to stand with me, I guarantee I'll throw them. I care about jiu-jitsu, I love jiu-jitsu, and I'll do anything. I've been over my back because I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you one thing because like I said, three months, 30 days in I was a blue belt, six months in my instructor moved back to Brazil, I'm going back and forth, back and forth to Brazil, bringing him, comes in, he spent a month, two months with me, um, teaching us, uh, giving us techniques and so forth, but I'm doing the best I can with what I got, but what I had isn't what I would have dreamed of. What I dreamed of is having an instructor that's with you every single day, fixing and correcting techniques every single day. I can only imagine what I could have done had I had that. So in my world, I said, listen, if I ever make it, I'm ever in a position to be able to help others that have similar likes and similar attainments and are like me, I'm going to give them that opportunity. Hey, it's Naja Easton here again, and I'm with Timothy Spriggs. Uh, he is the baddest brown belt on the planet right now. Uh, amazing competitor, athlete, and team member. Uh, Tim, for those who are watching right now, if they don't know who you are, then clearly uh, you are not up to date uh, with your BJJ or your Gracie magazine about all of the upcoming and hottest athletes out. But Timothy Spriggs is definitely one of them. Fill them in on just some of the accomplishments that you have achieved um, up to 2013. Uh, Three-time European Open champion. This past year, I won the Brown Belt Open in weight class at Nogi Pans. I won the Brown Belt Grand Prix Open Weight at the World Jiu-Jitsu Expo. It was to see who the best Brown Belt in the world was, and I won. So technically, right now, I'm the best Brown Belt in the world, and I'm about to do Copa Podio in about a month. And I'm going to be fighting the best of the best at Black Belt. And I look forward to beating all those guys and submitting all of them. So. I'm excited. I used to came to me when he was 17 years old. That's right. With the goal of being in the UFC. Everybody tonight, we watched the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He came to me at 17 years old. His, I met his dad. He came over to my school. He signed up. Ten years later, he fought in Washington, D.C. in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Uh, he knocked his opponent out. Uh, his next fight is January 15th. Woo -woo. That's right, baby. FX, so make sure y'all yeah. check it out on yeah. FX. Woo. And I'm here with my big brother, Mike the Hawk Easton, UFC Bantamweight contender. He's going to be fighting on January the 15th against TJ Dillonshaw in what's going to be an amazing display of mixed martial arts. And it's also going to be Mike's best fight to date. He's been training harder than ever, uh, practicing and working on his systems more than ever before. He's more confident than ever. And... I, I kind of went off of, off of some of his accomplishments, you know, fighting in the UFC. He's also the UWC Bantamweight Champion and now competing in the UFC. Uh, for the viewers who are watching this right now, what can they expect from you uh, in 2014? Besides the fact beating the living daylights out of TJ Dillonshaw and Team Alpha Male, what else would you be doing in 2014? We're working towards uh, getting the UFC title at 135. So. Uh, get through TJ Dillashaw first. That's what we focus on. Have an amazing training camp. Training real hard. Weight's coming down good. I feel good and strong. And the best part about it is 
everything I'm doing is in in house. Everything right here in Maryland. Uh, don't have to have too many guys come out. All the guys coming from our our affiliate schools. And uh, man, I, I just feel strong and ready, ready, ready to put on a show, ready to put this performance on. And uh, definitely gonna see a different Mike Easton from 2013. And my first fight is in 2014. My last fight was a loss, but it was a fight of the night with Brad Pickett. And uh, if you check that fight out, I thought I wanted to fight. I definitely thought I wanted to fight. But uh, you know, can't leave it to the judges' hands. And I plan on finishing TJ Dillashaw by submission or knockout, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna finish it. So, you heard it from the champ, 2014 Mike Easton, we're going after that belt. Going after, the belt. Going after that belt. You, you know, Mike Easton from white, blue, purple, brown, black belt, all the way to the UFC, has been under uh, the training and the instructor instruction of Master Lloyd Irvin. He's done a wonderful job. If anybody knows Mike Easton, you know, he's a very hard worker. Uh, when he puts his mind to it, he gives his very best. It's motivating for all of the other students. And uh, we're excited to see you in 2014. Now is Mike E's sister, and that's now is brother because she's out of the shadows. <laughs> out of my shadows. Out of the shadows. And it's like, like for real, when 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 you think about Team Lord and, and when the world thinks about Team Lord and the world thinks about what we've done and with the metal chasers and what we're doing and you know you know you know trendsetters about metal chasers. You think about this? She's the very first person to win a gold medal at the World Championship. Uh, well, we were having an awesome night. We got an opportunity uh, to watch the UFC where we saw Ronda Rousey, uh, you know, defend her title, uh, defeating Misha Tate. And we also got an opportunity uh, to watch Chris Wilderman against uh, Anderson Silva and really get an opportunity to come together as a team. It's a wonderful event. We have catered food uh, by Carolina Kitchen. Uh, Lance London came in himself to personally speak to the team and also to deliver the awesome food that we had today. As a pedestrian for the outside looking in and somebody who wrestled, I already know that you guys and Mr. Lloyd Irvin are very, very special. Don't you ever forget how special and how blessed you are to have this man in your life. Does that make sense? Yes, he don't have to do this. You know, he, he doesn't have, he does this because he, through helping other people get what they want, you can get what you want. Does that make sense? I'm with Lance London, who is the CEO um, and founder of Carolina Kitchen. I told you that we had some amazing food from him earlier. That was before I tasted it. It was awesome uh, for Team Lloyd Irvin's 2013 uh, celebration. He also uh, spoke some great words to a lot of the world-class competitors. Uh, you know, he's done an amazing job and shared his journey with us. So for the viewers uh, who don't know too much about you, uh, share a little bit more uh, to them about who you are and uh, also who you are to Team Lloyd Irvin as well. Well, um, I'm Lance London. You gotta excuse my voice because I've been so excited downstairs, partying with the whole team of Irving. We down here yelling and screaming and getting excited about the year 2014, which is we're just days away, by the way. Um, of course, I'm Carolina Kitchen's own Lance London, the president and CEO. Of course, we share some of our food, some of the vittles, I might add, some vittles. That's what I call them whenever it's in a beautiful home. We call them vittles to bring everything back down to earth. We brought some Incredible food, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, we brought shish kebabs, we brought all kinds of good things for everybody to eat. And uh, one thing I want to say is this, you know what, I've been around a lot of teams because I was an athlete, believe it or not, back in the day, a very good athlete. And I've never seen the love and togetherness that I see with the Lloyd Irving team. Uh, I really truly believe that, you know what, 2014 the world if they don't already know because you know what I know they already know team Irving is the team but 2014 is definitely a year I was down there you wasn't I saw what's happening I saw champions like this one right here she's a champion she being very modest she's unbelievable she's I've seen her train on real girl you are awesome you're awesome and it's other champions downstairs and some of them up here mingle around this beautiful home but i'm telling you look out for the lloyd Irving team in 2014 gonna do some big things i'm excited 
She's excited. We're all excited. And guess what? I'm going to leave you with this one statement. Once, maybe twice in a lifetime, an opportunity come along, it can change your whole life. If you're over 30 years of age, most likely the first opportunity is already surpassing. But the million dollar question is, will you know it? Will you see it? God bless you all. And me and the Lloyd Irvin team want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. I'm here with Isaac. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Brown Bow under Master Leo Dollar, who's instructor of Master Lloyd Irvin. And he's uh, been awesome. He's got an opportunity to come up to Camp Springs and uh, really, you know, help some of the new upcoming guys uh, train for the upcoming fight. I, I've, never, I've never even trained with Isaac ever in my life. Like, <laughs> I just come, came over recently with help one of our guys. But it's like, he's like my dad in Jiu Jitsu. He's like his dad in Jiu Jitsu. We like brothers. Lost Brothers, the other day when he, when he first decided to come over and I I reached out to him and asked him to help DJ. And he came over, I saw him wrestling with DJ. I saw me. Me and, where Master Donnie at? Right here. Master Donnie, what, what were we saying? Yes. He looked just like you. So I was like, he was just, like, he looked like me. He gets to the mount, he go for arm bars. I'm like, man, where the fuck you learn that shit from? <laughs> I'm like, Master show me. Like, like I, some, some of the stuff I probably even forgot he taught me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you ever see the movies like, like yeah. twins get separated, yeah. and then they, then you come out and meet, and you do each other, do everything together alike, the same yeah. thing. I'm like, damn man, I see him, I see me and him. I, and I even, I've never taught him nothing. He ain't taught me nothing. I ain't even seen nothing. So, uh, Isaac, uh, for those who are watching right now, give them a little uh, background about who you are and some of the accomplishments that you've. Uh, you know, accomplished through jiu-jitsu. Okay, uh, I started Brazilian jiu-jitsu in 2005. I've studied under Master Leo Dollar the whole time. Uh, I was a blue belt world champion in 2007. I was a uh, purple belt Pan Am champion in uh, 2011. Uh, Pan Am champion, double gold for brown belt in 2012. And I just won the Nogi World Championships uh, in 2013. We got Sajara coming up. She, Sajara just won her very first uh, MMA mixed martial arts hey, belt. Hey, 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 but she she came to me five years ago, wanting to fight mixed martial arts, and when mixed martial arts for females wasn't very popular, but tonight y'all saw a co-main event, female mixed martial arts, and she fights in that division. Um, and that's her dream, and she's been doing mixed martial arts. She's been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. She began, she became a world championship for Brazilian Jiu, world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, now she's doing mixed martial arts. She's undefeated mixed MMA. What? She got her first title. What yes, day was that? November 9th. Sajara so Eubanks, Team Lord Urban member, white, blue, purple, brown belt. Uh, always rocking the LI. Uh, if you're watching this right now and you are a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fan, you know who Sajara Eubanks is. She's uh, one of the most, I'll say, the most go hard female that's out on the mats that's bringing it each and every time. Uh, very hard worker, and she is uh, making her run in mixed martial arts right now. She is three. And zero, she's undefeated in mixed martial arts, finishing all of her girls by submission. And that's basically after she pummels and beats them up striking, and then she finishes them on the ground. Uh, for those right now who may not know who you are, tell them a little bit about what you have accomplished up until 2013 so far. Uh, I've been a member of uh, Team Lord Irvin since 2008. I came in just because uh, I was bored, wanted to lose weight, and um, I got started in mixed martial arts and been taking off ever since. I've been uh, brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Master Lloyd Irvin. Uh, 2008, um, I'm sorry, 2010 Blue Belt World Champion and uh, got a couple of Nogi World Championships under my belt and uh, got the LOC belt in amateur. I got a couple more belts to go and I'm working my way up the ladder. My goal is to be UFC World Champion one day and uh, go white to black under Master Lloyd Irvin. So I, I, I got a lovely team and I'm super excited about the things that are to come. Fighting at 135 pounds, but she can make 125. Like I said, like she said, uh, she's looking forward to uh, competing in the UFC. As you can see, the women have just uh, made a, a breakthrough in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Uh, Sajara is definitely one of the faces that you want to see. She works hard, amazing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitor. She's been uh, working on her Muay Thai and her striking, and is going to be showing the ladies something they haven't seen before. If you thought she was go hard in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Mixed martial arts and punching people is what she, what, I mean, what she loves to do. So they're going to get an opportunity to really see uh, how her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts is going to move into the next level of training. Master Marco, I have my own, own school. He has his own team, FFA Academy. They're killers out there. Um, I'm the godfather of his son. He named his son Lloyd. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> In the heat 
of Lloyd not being a name that you should be naming Lloyd in their family. <laughs> and he took that for fa against, against family, against people who have the same blood. I don't got the same blood. If I love you, man. Hey, it's Naja East. I'm here with Master Marcos Avalon, um, head instructor at FFA Academy in Florida. Uh, right now, we're at the Team Lauder event 2013 Team Appreciation. And uh, Master Marcos has had um, an awesome uh, year. If you don't know too much about him, like he has an amazing school, has amazing competitors uh, in, in mixed martial arts, uh, you know, who are coming out of his academy. He's here celebrating uh, the end of the year with us. So tell us, for the viewers who are watching this now, uh, who don't know too much about you, uh, kind of fill them in on some of the accomplishments that he has a brother, David Avalon. Amazing. Like, uh, if you're doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right now, if you're a fan of uh, Abu Dhabi, like these are the veterans, like uh, guys who got this started, you know, who are uh, role models for those who are up and coming in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So know your history. You have Master Marcos Avalon, he also has a brother David Avalon. But fill them in a little bit about your history and how you are uh, connected, you know, here at Team Lord Irvin as well. Thank you very much. Uh, my brother and I, uh, like she said, you know, we have our school, Freestyle Fight Academy, down in Miami, and we also have a school in Weston. It was an honor to be invited. Uh, you know, I, I always feel like part of the family here, and uh, it's always very important for me to, to come out and show support for the man that did so much for, for me and, and my family and, and my school and my students. And uh, it was a privilege, and it was, it was great. To, you know, he do, every time Master Lloyd gives speeches, they're always great speeches, and uh, I'm happy to have been here. Willie's 315 pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's hard to find yeah. training partners for a 315 pounder, especially when they become world champions, multiple time world champions. And um, like Willie's been on the mat when there's time when there's nobody for him to roll with, and time when he's just helping other people, smaller guys, and then the other times people, it's not funny for him to roll with because, and like, Willie's to a point, Willie's good now, like to a point, he'll hurt people. Like really, like if you smash your guard, you fight, you next thing you know your ribs are popped and you're out for six months. I'm with Team Lord Irvin member and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt, uh, Willie Leonard, and uh, Willie has been a part of the team for six years now. Six years, and he's also uh, the highest uh, decorated Team Lord Irvin member to date. Uh, and just ramble off a few of the things that you have accomplished um, in your Brazilian Jiu Jitsu career thus far. Uh, blue belt, purple belt, gi world champion, blue belt. Uh, purple belt, brown belt, no gi world champion, uh, Brazilian national champion, uh, uh, Portugal champion, a um, whole bunch. And he's also an educator, uh, you know, who teaches and works with students from three different sports and uh, has been able to even bring a lot of those skills uh, to the training mess at Team Lloyd Irvin uh, headquarters. All this started with a dream in my mom's basement, watching the UFC tape, buy the mass a dollar, if it wasn't for Master Dog, man, none of y'all, we wouldn't even be here right yeah. now. Yes. Hey. Because he had my back the entire time. I'm, I'm, we were talking about, we were talking about homegrown. Yes. yes. Not leaving who you with. Yes. I'm white, blue, purple, brown, and black, and still. Master Dollar. Yes. Uh, my name is Najee Easton. I'm here with Master Leo Dollar. We are at Team Lord Irvin's uh, 2013 ending of the year. Uh, Master Lloyd kind of went into a spill just to educate all of the Team Lord Irvin uh, students and competitors on just the impact that Master Leo Dollar um, has had. Basically, all everything that you've heard about Team Lord Irvin wouldn't be possible without Master Leo Dollar. So for uh, the viewers who are watching this right now, uh, give them uh, a little bit of insight in who you are, um, you know, as a part of Team Lord Irvin, uh, the accomplishments that you have uh, also done up to, until 2013. Lloyd started Jiu Jitsu with me back in 1996. You know, like there was a brief. I wasn't here in America for so long. I was about like uh, eight, nine months here. So, but he just trained with me for like six months. He was a very talented person uh, with like strong mind, like always training really hard and he developed himself uh, very well, you know, like as everything he does in his life, he put his full commitment and always do a great job. Uh, same thing he's doing with his team and getting great results. If, if, if you're watching this right now and you don't know who Master Leo Dollar is, 
uh, then you definitely need to go back into your BJJ history. Um, a lot of, of the opportunities that we have today and the, the, the opportunities that we've been given are because of pioneers like Master Leo Dalla, um, you know, an amazing competitor, but also an amazing instructor. And, uh, you know, you all get an opportunity to see that when we have our affiliate schools, you know, Lloyd Irvin and Crazy Aided Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and uh, all of the other affiliate schools that we have are direct correlation of the instructor that Master Leo Dalla has uh, shared with Master Lloyd, who's also shared with us. Um, anything else that you would like to leave in closing for the viewers, what they can expect? I mean, Master Dalla has some amazing competitors, which are probably flying under the radar, but... Isaac, who I did an interview with earlier, uh, you know, has from white, blue, purple, and up to the brown belt level, has done all of his training with Master Leo Dalla. He's a world champion at the purple, um, brown belt level, um, and is amazing. So what can uh, the viewers expect to see from uh, you and from your students in the upcoming years? For me, keep trying to work hard, keep trying to compete, keep trying to develop students. Uh, regarding uh, Isaac, you mentioned, or either Lloyd, I give uh, most of the credit for them. I think the students, when they come at us, we try to help, we do our best, we guide, but it needs to be on the, the student that desire to really win and push hard because I'm not going to be able to be there on the mat and fight for him. So if he doesn't have that heart and desire to accomplish, so he'll never going to get it, you know. So as an instructor, what we have to do the best is motivate the students for them to be able to reach their full potential, you know, and the rest should be with them. Us. So uh, this is a big deal. Master Leo Dalla, like I said, amazing competitor, amazing instructor, and has paved the way for all of the Team Lord Irvin competitors who are coming today, and we're super thankful for that. Coach Fox here is our, our, our boxing Ooh. instructor. Ooh. Hands are playing. He got his son, Tez, off his undefeated Ooh. boxing. Hey. We got little Mike Fox. <laughs> we have, a, like I said, build a build a program. We have, like I said, pros, like people that are in boxing. They have pro undefeated boxers, and now we're taking that level of boxing and bringing it into MMA. My name is Michael Fox. I'm Coach Fox. Hands are playing. A happy New Year to Team Lloyd Irvin. We, you know, he gives that all the all the uh, anybody 160 and under all the spawn for their hands. He gives it to him. My older son, anybody 160 and above, he gives it to him. Yeah, they help me. They help me a lot too. I'm fighting grown men now. I get to feel. I get to feel the difference. I appreciate all them. They all team. No matter what, jujitsu, wrestling, MMA, y'all all team. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Watch out for boxing. The team Lord Irvin is coming up. Where's um Jamal? Coach Jamal right here. Coach Jamal. Coach Jamal. <laughs> Coach Jamal the mic. He's, he's double duty here. Hey. 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 Coach Jamal brought him. I brought Coach Jamal from Atlanta. Um, He's from Golden Golden Legs. He's from a um, news style Muay Thai. He's an absolute animal of style, and like he, he came in moved, moved to Maryland to come work with the team. Um, yes. like I'm, I'm appreciative of everybody. Happy New Year's to Master Lloyd. Happy New Year's to the whole Team Lloyd Irvin family. He's coming from Coach Jamal, aka Cameraman Jamal, aka We Do It All. Um, big things coming up for the New Year's. We did big things last year. Big things gonna come up for this year, even bigger, better, more success, more winning. Look out for the Team Lord Urban Muay Thai team coming. And all the good stuff, Jiu Jitsu already proven, boxing already proven, wrestling already proven. Now we about to show the Muay Thai. The Muay Thai is proven, but we about to shock the world. Team Lord Irvin, us. Master Roberto from Naples, uh, Florida. Uh, Listen, yeah. I, I have a, I have a, I have a um, just a, just a, just a mental and physical connection to Master Roberto because Master Roberto had the same things. Master Julius is his instructor, <laughs> and him and Master Julius split ways and separate ways, and he was out on his own doing the best that he can with what he got and coming back to Master Julius when he can. Same thing, same story as me and Master Dollar. Nigel Easton reporting, and again, um, I'm here with Master Roberto and his wife, Katie, uh, who are from Naples, Florida. I'm um, having an amazing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, program, uh, great competitors who are coming out. And 
I've got an opportunity to train with both of them just to see their hard work, their dedication. I mean, from Florida and, you know, are investing into their Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training. They get an opportunity to come up to Camp Springs as often as they can, uh, you know, sharing knowledge uh, with all of the up-and-coming competitors and also getting opportunity uh, to learn directly from Master Lloyd Irvin. For the viewers who are watching this right now, amongst the both of you all, like, they are a very uh, decorated uh, couple and uh, kind of just share with the viewers right now some of the things that both of you all have accomplished. The, um, well, more, more of the things that we have accomplished at the school that we have in Naples, Florida, under the mentorship of uh, Lloyd Irvin and Julius Park, another one of our main coaches here in the program. Uh, we compete all the time. You know, Katie has a blue belt. She won Pan Ams. Uh, got silver at the World Championships. I won Pan Ams as a brown belt. Uh, we've been around for, for I've been around for 10 years in, in this grind you know, with Team Lord Irvin, and uh, the main thing is the new guys that, that are coming up from the team, like uh, uh, Joe Formica and Joseph Ruggiero. We have a lot, uh, you know, Rachel. Uh, we have a lot of good guys, and everything just uh, comes from the top, you know. So I'm just passing down the philosophies of uh, Lloyd, as Lloyd, and and adding a couple of my two cents in there, and it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. It's an honor for us to be a part of the team, and, and we're grateful for, for everything you guys share with us every time we come. And, I mean, they're amazing. As awesome as you can see them right now on camera, like, they're like this, like, every every time that I've had an encounter with them. Uh, they have an amazing program in Naples, a uh, kids program that is growing and thriving, and, you know, that are changing lives every day. And uh, as they're sitting here looking all sweet on camera, I mean, they put their geese on and they get down on the mat. Um, and it's amazing that you all can do it, you know, as a couple as well. Uh, as a Team Lord Irvin member for over 10 years, uh, one thing uh, that I love most about training with Team Lord Irvin is really just that we are beyond a team, that we are family. And that's what this whole celebration has been about. Uh, we're excited, we're partying. I mean, I'm going to tell you, Team Lord Irvin, the team, Lloyd Irvin, uh, we party like no other team. Uh, I mean, everyone here is a good time. It's all exciting, but we're also all family, and this is something that uh, we've come together to do affiliates from all over the United States of America. So we have guys from Virginia, we have guys from Tennessee, uh, we have those who are in Maryland and who come together uh, really just to say uh, we're appreciative of all the wonderful high class training. And I'm here with John the Devastator Del Bruges, who is an amazing mixed martial artist, uh, up and coming. What's your pro record right now? Uh, three and one. Three and one. He's also a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt under uh, Master Julius Parks at Crazy 88. And uh, I mean, we have some big things that are coming up from him in 2014. So for some of the new people who are not familiar with you, uh, who are watching this right now, John, tell them a little bit about some of your accomplishments uh, that you've done up until 2013. Uh, well, I'm uh, at Purple Belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I was a European bronze medalist, Pan American bronze medalist in my weight class and the open division. I was a uh, uh, Brazilian national uh, champion and um, I've been competing on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu circuit like at an international level. I've been doing all the Grand Slam tournaments for like five years straight so like I've been on the grind for like a long time. Um, you know I might not be like one of those like sexier names out there in the, in the, in the game coming up you know but uh, I have been putting my work in the Jiu Jitsu world you know, I, I, had, I medaled at all the Grand Slam tournaments except for the Worlds at Purple Belt. So, amazing competitor in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but is doing even greater things in mixed martial arts. I get an opportunity uh, to watch John uh, twice a week to get down, uh, sparring, doing MMA drills, and he's uh, one of the most exciting guys that we have on the mat. Let's make 2014 the best year, but not by the hope and the dream. Let's, by, let's take, by Man, taking work. action. Work. You're playing, let's take, your goal, follow the plan, Working hard. Talent proves the work hard. There you go, Lord. Hey. Hey. Nigel Easton here, and I'm with Devin Del Bruges, uh, also known as the Demonstrator. I got an opportunity to interview his brother a little bit early, uh, but he's also an amazing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitor, a new purple belt uh, coming into the 2014 season, and a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt world champion in 2013, and is definitely looking forward to repeating that at the purple belt level in 2014. So for the viewers who are checking this out right now who don't know too much about you, Tell them a little bit about Devin and what you've done so far. And how old are you first? 19. Uh, well, last year at Blue Belt, uh, we started out with Nogi uh, Worlds. So I went to Nogi Worlds, got double gold, middleweight, and open. 
Um, I did the Grand Slams, I did Europe, lost in the eight round, did Pan Ams, lost in the eight round, then I did Brasileiros, uh, I got a bronze medal and then I went to the Worlds, I got gold in middleweight at Blue Belt and then I went to the Absolute and I, uh, I lost in the final so I got second. After that I got promoted to Pro Belt so um, past few months I've been doing a few local tournaments and IBJJFs and uh, I won Boston, got second in the Open, and I won Chicago, Gi and No Gi weight class. I didn't get the place in the open, but um, and then now we're just waiting for the, the Grand Slams. We have so many world champions, Timothy Spriggs, DJ Jackson, Sajara Eubanks, uh, Devin Dale Bruges, uh, I mean, UFC contender Mike Easton. Like, it is an amazing time. All of these students are coming together. And just our way of saying that we're appreciative of all of our instructors, Master Lloyd Irvin, uh, who's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, homegrown from Master Leo Dalla, and all of these competitors that I just mentioned are all homegrown athletes. And we are just, uh, you know, excited about the 2014. And we're just turning up. Michael Jackson got them things just like pull up. Tudo made that clean, smoking no kill up. You're a stranger talking and I don't feel it. If I don't know your mama, I'ma make them feel it. Heavy on the road, you know I want to shine. Bitch, I need it all each and every time. Photo take it, photo made back, I know you hate it. Skating with women from Staten Island, my flow so flavor. We the realest, pistol concealed, my percentage higher than yours. Cash money, I see no limits. Hey, this is Lloyd Irvin, and we had a great night tonight. Everyone from the team came out supporting, getting ready for an amazing, fantastic, super fantastic 2014 season coming up. I don't care what you do, whether you do jiu-jitsu, whether you do MMA, whatever your goals are, set your goals, have a realistic plan to accomplish your goals, and go hard or go home. Listen, hard work beats talent when talent refuses to work hard. This is how we go at Team Lloyd Irvin. 2014, we're going to have our best season ever.